Um, so here's a fun fact. Um, when I worked downtown, uh, there was an Auntie Anne's pretzel mm. shop mm. that you could smell coming so like good. every day. I, that was my snack on the train ride home. Um, had no idea how many how how bad were how they? many points they were and what the secret ingredient is they dip it, it every single pretzel that comes out no matter if it's sweet savory it gets dunked in melted butter mm. like no wonder it's so good it's like crack um so it stopped yeah when Hannah was little I would be like it was it was uh, bad weather out I'd be like you, you want to just go to the mall let's just, just do go that to the pretzel yeah and it was pretzels it was getting the cookies it was all the things all and the things. I wonder how I got to Weight Watchers. No idea. <laughs> um, but these are food court pretzels that we're making today with a cheese sauce. Super easy and simple. One of my faves. Yep. And um, all we have here is four ounces of skinny pizza dough. We're going to cut them up and then get them into some boiling water with some baking soda. The baking soda does something. I have no idea what. Yeah, uh, it's a bit scientific. It, it is a big scientific, but that's what's going to get the color mm -hmm. and the te the te taste and texture it's like, yeah that chewy texture uh -huh, is is what we get with that and they're gonna be crisp on the outside tender on the inside and we're gonna do this easy cheese sauce so like i can't we've got the under the hundred the oven at 425 yeah and we're gonna um, grab our baking sheet and let's get these cutting and then um there she goes <laughs> there she goes <laughs> there she goes yeah um, and this is the butter that I use when I talk about lake butter. It's I can't believe it's not butter light, and it's thirty five calories a tablespoon. Um, is it as it's good so as good. is it as good as butter? No. Is Obviously it going to be not. the flavor of butter? Yes. Perfect. So that's what we're looking for. That's what we need. Yes. So we are just going to cut. Um, oh, you can cut. I, it. I've got it. Yeah. Go ahead and cut them into bite sized pieces. Put them on your baking sheet, separating just a little bit. Okay, what are we doing now? Now we are gonna add some baking um, soda to the water. I did have it on a hard boil, but I just turned it down a little bit. But you wanna be very careful with this because see how it goes like that. And you just wanna make sure I've added too much water and it's just exploded. It over, yeah, yeah, it overflows, it's kind of crazy. And this just takes a minute. Kind of like gnocchi. Kind of, yeah. And um, then when they come out, we're gonna do a, a quick egg white wash and seasonings, salt, and then um, get them baked in the oven. And then we'll start our cheese sauce. This is what they look like in the pan. They're gonna puff up a little bit. After a couple minutes, once they are nice and puffy and they're floating on top, you just want to take a slotted spoon and go ahead and take them out. We're just using the same pan here. You want to take your egg white wash and just give these a little brushing on the top. This is going to help with the color and also help a little bit with the crunchiness and you won't taste the egg white, I promise. While the pretzels start baking, we're going to go ahead and get our cheese sauce ready. We're gonna melt some butter, or the I can't believe it's not butter light, with our flour, give that a good mix here. It's gonna be a little clumpy, but we're gonna add in our milk, give that a good stir, add our cheese, and then we're just gonna let this simmer. After it simmers, our cheese sauce is gonna be this delicious, thick goo that is just the perfect complement to these pretzels. Right out of the oven, here they are, nice and golden. They have a crispy crust, but are still soft and chewy on the inside.